Hey, welcome back. This is Frexistential, and we are back with Darkest Dungeon 2. So, let's get you all up to date. I've been playing this a bunch on and off while not streaming or recording. So, I've unlocked a lot of new stuff. Uh, so, let's kind of give you a little tour uh, of what we have. I mean, we have all the heroes, which I think you all know knew about already. Uh, but we did... Uh, we have like some new abilities for um, the Hellion, uh, the Jester, which I don't know if you saw we had everything unlocked with the Jester, but now we do. Um, so yeah, we, we just kind of been working our way through. And like we have like, a, I mean, I don't have access to the Altar of Hope right now, so you just have to trust me. Like we have a bunch of trinkets unlocked. We have a bunch of the, uh, I think we have all of the in items and all of the stagecoach items unlock so we should be doing a bit better in the terms of our runs so we're gonna be doing chapter two uh, the reason why even though we've beaten chapter two and we have it on stream uh, and recorded is chapter three is really hard like super hard we've got you know you see me attempt the boss a few times and, and actually like uh, it's no guarantee we even get to the chapter 2 boss. Like, uh, in my runs where I'm just trying to, like, grind out a bit, like, I've lost on the chapter 2 boss, I have not made it to the chapter 2 boss, so my overall game plan here is still to continue to unlock some stuff while in chapter 2, grind it out a little bit, uh, do some additional learning as we go, um, and then... Should we be successful in Chapter 2, which I really hope we are, we're going to take as many heroes that survive as we can, give them some really good memories, and then put them into Chapter 3. And I think that's going to give us our best shot for that boss. Um, and, I mean, that Chapter 3 boss, there are some teams that are, like, optimal for it, some are not. Uh, we'll see what we're able to bring along. Before I started to record today... Uh, and start and, and went live. I was looking at just the potential heroes that we can take with that had a good uh, uh, bunch of quirks uh, that weren't too detrimental. And so the party that we're gonna go with is going to be, and I didn't realize this party has a special name. Uh, we're gonna go with the Plague Doctor. You know I'm a Plague Doctor fan. Uh, Plague Doctor is very good. Plague Doctor is hard skinned. So they start with two block. They have the yips, which isn't great, but it's not the worst on the doctor. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna go through every character's quirks, but like we have a couple of them that, that are just not great. Um, we're also gonna be taking the grave robber. Uh, again, she has a chance, smaller, uh, like only five percent chance to start with armor. So again, good fanatic fearing, not. It is what it is. We'll take it. I mean, it's not the worst thing to work, to work around. It's only 5%. Oh, sorry, 50% chance. But, you know, maybe we can get rid of this before we fight Fanatics. Again, like, do anemic around start days. Like, those aren't good. Um, the other hero that we're going to take, and we haven't, I don't know if we've done any runs that were on stream with him. We might have. I don't remember. If, if so, not many. We're going to take the Flagellant. Uh, Damien here. Now, Damien, he likes to knit. I know he may not look the type, but he loves... He's a knitter. He'll make you a sweater on Christmas. That's what he That's what he just does when he gets a little stressed. Uh, so, he's a little bit of a little klepto. So, he might steal some of your stuff as well out of your stocking. Uh, but he, he is a knitter. Um, so, Damien is also along for the ride. And then for our tank, um, it's going to be... The Hellion, and again, we've, we've unlocked some more stuff for the Hellion as well, which I'll go through. So Hellion, um, last grasp, if the HP is below 50%, she gets plus four speech, which gets faster. Pillager fearing, so, you know, again, whatever, like people, hopefully we will, this won't be too bad for us. Now, what's interesting about last grasp, and something I didn't realize with the Hellion that when we ran her in previous runs, she innately, um, has, I don't know where it says it anywhere, but like, I believe, because I was looking at the wiki a little bit, um, she has a bonus, uh, when her, when her health gets low, 
she gets stronger typically by herself. Um, no, Frank, I said knitter. Knitter. K-N-I-T-T-E-R. Um, so she... When she gets low in health, she gets stronger innately. Again, I don't know if that's an ability or, or what. Or... or, or if, uh, it's, uh, but, 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 it's somewhere. Uh, so, uh, unless that was in beta. Regardless, she has decent quirks, so we're, we're going to be taking her as well. And this is the Cadaver Caravan. There is so let's go and double check our I'm paths. Sure. Uh, for the Plague Doctor, we're going to go Alchemist. Alchemist. They're going to be our healer. Uh, I mean, Surgeon's one that gets more benef benefits to, to healing. But uh, I think this is this is fine. Like, they're all the way in the back. Less max health is fine for them. This is one of the, I mean, I, I was messing around with Surgeon a bit. But with this group, cause we, uh, we're going to do Alchemist. Skills. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Play grenade and maybe disorienting blast. We'll, we'll see. We might flex this in and out. I don't think we're gonna need magnesium rain because we're gonna have uh, some other stuff that we can clear corpses with. And cause of death, I, I do like cause of death, but uh, you need to be. You can't use this in the back rank, so uh, we're gonna not be running that. So we'll start with disorienting blast. Now, for the Grave Robber, uh, I'm going to primarily want uh, these two in the front ranks. So I'm not going to be messing with Lunge at all, really, because I don't really need to have her coming in the front and then being in this rank uh, and kind of like messing up their order. Uh, because the Hellion, she does have a way to jump to the front, but I mean, we don't have the, we're not running the Jester, so we're not going to be very mobile um, in like moving these two around. So we're going to be running um should we do venom drop or dead eye probably dead eye since we're pretty much total range and yeah um the boss of this chapter the uh spoiler alert if you haven't uh, seen the uh boss second chapter uh that the big pair of lungs the lungs on the ends not the center is immune to poison. So I, I don't want to go all in on the poison. That was one of the mistakes I made uh, off screen um, in trying to take down this boss. So let's just do Deadeye. Because uh, we, we may... Uh, this That will give you trouble. But like, we'll worry about that later. Hellion could hit the back rank pretty well. So I'm not too worried. Uh, so because they are... Deadeye. Uh, we want to pretty much go all in unranged. I don't mess with Absinthe too much. Maybe we will. If, uh, but I'll probably put Dead of Night for right now. Um, we, we'll think about this before we invest in any upgrades on this. Uh, pick to the face. I mean, it's good to have so she can still hit the front. Um, yeah, this is, this is fine. Now, for our zombie friend, the Knitter, N-I-T-T-E-R, um, we're gonna go Maniac, I think. Uh, so with, with, with him, we don't have all his skills unlocked yet. Uh, so we're gonna do more and more. So he's kind of like an off tank. Uh, more and more for sure. Uh, we're not gonna do Suffer because, um, I don't th with Battlefield Medicine, I don't think this makes sense. Um, we may run Fester, uh, but I primarily want to be able to self-heal. Like, I want to endure. So he's going to be our way to relieve stress, which is not totally ideal because he just moves the stress onto him. So we're going to have to go heavy on the Laudanum this build. Uh, this run. Um, acid Rain. Just a two back rank. I don't know. 
Um, but we want punish. We want more and more. Uh, we want to self heal. So we want deathless as well. Because uh, we don't want to just be have you using all your turns healing him. Um, maybe we won't run fester. We'll try this to start. Because if we're doing more and more, uh, we're going to be taking a lot of damage, right? So, like, we need self-heal. I mean, this also is a taunt as well. So, it's going to be interesting how both of these characters are going to interact. Um, so, yeah. Not having Fester maybe makes more sense to have you have the corpse clip, but whatever. Um, until we spend an upgrade on things, we're not, like, locking in things for good. So, like, it is what it is. Um, and this path, Maniac, sacrifices Blight Potency. So yeah, uh, Fester is a Blight, a Blight-based ability, so, uh, we want Punish, um, and Lash's Gift. I think this is good. If not, we'll learn something. Finally, for the Hellion, uh, we're going Ravager because we want them to have the most health as they possibly can have, uh, being our tank in the in the first position. Now their bleed skills are not going to be great. Like they have less res piercing, but they do have a chance to be bleeding on the start of their own turn innately, which we unlock this ability Bloodlust, which removes their uh, like winded condition and also gives them bonus damage uh, so we want iron swan to allow them to hit the back um, I don't know if we need barbaric yop you know we don't need if it bleeds we're, pr we're pretty much always gonna be in the front and if it, if it bleeds is a you can't use that in the front so we want bloodlust um, toe to toe is fine because if we if we do get knocked back, which can happen, we'll we'll, we'll rush back to the front and lock us, uh, ourselves in place. It's only forward one. It's not like the man at arms who is hold the line who jumps to the front. Um, again, we don't need bleed out because we're not going to be doing a lot of bleed stuff ourselves. So I think the cadaver caravan is ready to go. One final check. Yeah. And hopefully on our way, we'll be able to unlock some more of these skills. It gives us some other stuff to kind of work towards. And away we go. Back to the valley. The flame. Sacred and sputtering. The last hope for us all. All right. Make sure you're running over the bushes. The winds whip more harshly on the far side of the brook. So, like I was saying, like hopefully, the bulwark of with the, the chapter three boss, this group will also work in 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 that boss's uh, gimmick. All right, um, we have Yop on. Uh, let's go ahead and just start off. Like, we're not, oh, we're bleeding. Good. We can use Bloodlust on ourselves. Now they do more damage. Um, we will taunt. Because this will give him pain. This is a neat ability. So you do a taunt, and when damage, you get a pain token. And the pain tokens, you heal at the end of your next turn. So, like, very self sufficient sort of like off tank uh, or way to like tank tank damage as long as he doesn't like you know die uh, we will do some flashing daggers hit two different dudes because uh, poison dart uh, they have pretty high blight resistance we want to get find trinkets and stuff that will like help with the crit since you know we, she can crit for more you just gotta like make sure you invest into that uh, there's only one enemy in the back. Um, so, like, Plague Grenade isn't ideal because it is spread across two. Uh, you have very good Blight 
penetration, though. So let's, let's go ahead and, and toss. You resist it anyway. You, your blight resistance was all of seven, and you still resisted it. You know, sometimes it happens. So also, like, the one thing that I'm concerned about on this run is we don't have a lot of... We don't have very good stress heal. Hopefully, we'll get uh, the wolf cub in that, in that first in which will help out immensely in managing our levels of stress. Uh, if not, he'll just be getting very toxic. Um, so we don't need the self-heal. You're gonna heal yourself in the, after your turn's over with the uh, pain tokens. So let's go ahead and punish one of these mofos. How about we punish, uh, we'll punish you for four damage. A little heal. Uh, let's go ahead and try this again. We got a critical. All right, so you're pretty much dead. Yeah, you will. Now you're still buffed. So you still have the plus twenty percent damage from your your first use of blood loss. So uh, that's great. You're probably gonna die anyway. So let's just try to like hit you. Now that didn't seem like a lot of extra damage, but like we're still early on in. We're still getting trinkets. We still have to do all this other stuff to to like boost ourselves. We're still trying to discover the combos, right? Getting the skills. Uh, so you're almost dead. You're. I mean, let's. You're the only one without a, some blight on you, so toss out there. Double death row. Chop ya. Nine. That, that's a little bit more. I mean, I want to see some more double-digit numbers with some of uh, the, our abilities here. But maybe we're just extra tanky. Maybe we're just a little bit... We don't have to, like, uh, damage race everything we fight. Like, we sometimes end up in a position on oh, we're uh, like a glass cannon type team. Maybe we're a little bit more methodical about things. Yo, Poxborn, how's it going? Happy Wednesday. All right, so we want a wolf cub. Song of Amorous Balance. Maybe um, we'll play some Barry White for our, our crew and see. <laughs> the flagellon, he looks so... He's... Uh, he, he's just like a... He's a corpse person. It's so funny. We Now, we do have the option to grab the bounty hunter, but, like, I'm going to hold off on that because I've never used the bounty hunter before. I don't even have all his abilities unlocked, and I want to dive into this this party comp. All right, so we're looking at the, either the Shroud or the Tangle, and there's no good reward. Like, there's no, like, Mastery Point or Trinket, so that's that's disappointing. Uh, Provisioner, what do you got? You got, all right, no Wolf Cub, also disappointing. Uh, the Shroud. Um, but, or the all mac to the shrouds. You get more damage to the shroud. Like, this is handy if you want to, like, go ahead and try to beat the, uh, shroud lair boss. Uh, but I don't think, I don't think we're doing an early lair boss. I think it's, it's gonna be, uh, the second or third region that we'll try to, I want to kind of get some more mastery points and build up the, the strength of our team before we, because also the lair boss and the shroud, even with this 50%, 15% damage, it's, the Leviathan is tough. He's one of the harder uh, letter bosses to take down. I've done it, but like it's maybe not. Um, okay. So what pets do we have? Um, plus to heal. Uh, more crit. Um, and more baubles. Um, and I don't think we'll be messing with the larval carrying. So, do we have scouting gear available? Because more crit is interesting, and also getting more loot. That's like an econ an econ build uh, stagecoach. So, um, road gear, nothing gear specific. You're a, you're a book, medical gear, and okay, scouting gear. That was with the with the bird was right. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, creature, den, locate. I mean, this is not the most powerful item, right? 
Um, but I don't think, I don't think uh, health is going to be that big of an issue. Um, so I like because you know the flagellant has a heal, the play doctor has a heal, and I've never messed with the shrieker chick before. So let's go ahead and mess with this. Anything that lets us travel further. Even though again, this this right here isn't all that powerful. Um, it's cheap though, so we can like invest in an early hoarder possibly. Uh, let's go swing by the Wainwright. And the fact that you you add crit is uh, interesting to me. This will serve well. And you were saying we, we want to get higher crit on our on our uh, grave robber. All right. So provisioner, what else do you have? Uh, combat items. We're gonna need a little laudanum for sure. Oh, we all we have some trinkets in our possession already. Uh, we have sparkle ball. Um, interesting. We must have got gotten this up on the altar of hope, probably. Um, a lot of wonderful on hit effects. That looks pretty great. When do they get to the fireworks factory? <laughs> Soon, Frank. Soon. Uh, sacred Scribblings. Uh, we don't have anyone with, with really burn, so we'll, we'll hang on to that. Um, Jealous Whisper. If stained item is equipped uh, when moving, add one positive token. When moved by a skill. Oh, man. This would be great with the jester who we're not running right now shame uh snap judgment thing that is quip turn start get speed um add a positive token if your speed is greater or equal to eight if it was greater or equal to 12 remove combo extra action mm -hmm. um do we have someone with high speed not currently but that that may change sparkle ball uh, we'll give that to you, because you're going to be almost always attacking unless you're doing bloodlust. No, no, because um, you will be doing bloodlust on occasion. You will almost always be attacking, uh, so you will get Sparkle Ball. Uh, we'll give you the Laudanum. Uh, I'm going to likely buy Glimmers of Hope as well. Um, what else do we have? Yeah, I mean, these are cheap enough. Take that. Uh, now, in items, you already have a pretty swanky book. Song of Rousing Tunes, plus speed. Um, food is good. I don't know if we need to spend to give everybody food, because we have pretty high health. I will grab apples and cheese for the plague doctor because if they get moved what's well, bad news bears for us uh anything else i mean removing a negative quirk is also good you were talking about wanting to do that with someone uh you have pillager fearing the yips is probably the only one is our worst quirk right now so, get rid of that. Amazing. Have some apples and cheese. You get the lowest health. I mean, maybe we can give you some bread. Uh, might as well. Take a little bit of bread. I think that's all we're going to buy for now. Start on turn, gain crit, gain vulnerability on miss. Hmm. We'll save. We'll save. So we have 30 already. Like, I'm thinking early, early hoarder. Um, 
All right, and for the mastery trainer, so this will up your damage on Wicked Hack. Uh, you will want to uh, upgrade Iron Swan eventually. Um, I think where we want to start, though, is the Grave Robber to get some more damage and more crit. Um, let's do... I mean, we, we're not going to be messing with stealth too much. Um, this is like AoE damage. This doubles the amount of poison, which is good. Um, but let's do like a way to solo. Like, if we have like a problem enemy, we'll be able to get them down faster. Um, do we want anything for you? I mean, endure. Since it's our only source of like stress relief, is definitely a good candidate. Uh, this will, yeah, let's do that because this is my primary concern at the moment. This will make it so we only absorb we absorb two, but we reduce three stress for the target. Um, we're gonna save the book of amorous ballads just because. I don't know, the... It's pretty neutral to get a positive or negative relationship chance out of the first area. Um, so let's go ahead. And which route do we want to go? Um, we'll go... We'll, we will go to the Shroud. Not to do the Lair Boss, but because it's one more candle. The Shrouded Coast. And... Isolated. And Away we go. Now, we're going to run a little bit long in this first episode. Uh, I know we're coming up in 30 minutes, but we've just done a lot of admin work so far. So I know we, I know you want to see some more, some more battles and, and, and fighting and... What have you? Friday floats listless on the tide. What was the goal? Uh, keep the flame at 40, 40 plus. All right, so Creature Den. Um, there's a combat here. I mean, there's a watchtower. This will get a hero shrine with a little bit more story and, a, and another ability. There's a hero shrine up here, though, as well, so we don't have to, like, force ourselves in this direction to grab that. Um... Oasis is nice. This is also nice. So yeah, this this shroud is actually a pretty easy area. I don't think we need the. I don't think we need the watchtower. I think our options are pretty self-explanatory. So let's go ahead and we'll head to the hero shrine first. See, we'll unlock and look. The party agrees with me. They all want to shrine it up as well. Now, the shrine not only unlocks, like, skills and reveals some more story for one of the characters, you also, I believe, get a mastery point for the completion of, of a shrine. Because if you have a party that's full and has, like, no need for shrines, like, they don't spawn on the map. So I think it's, like, almost like a, like a mini resistance encounter, as long as you complete it. Um... So, I mean, these two are our only two eligible options. Let's, um, do, uh, Damien here, our, our flagellant. As you can see, we, we've, we've done a bunch offline for him. All right, that's the door. Is it a story event or just a, uh, it's a mini game? It was like a mini game. Oh, hello, death. Um, I wonder why you're here. Numbing oblivion, a premature end to his sacred journey of sensation. Oh, is this just a legit a fight? <laughs> uh, I can punish, rain, more, more, or self heal, remove bleed. Um, and we have to like kill death. Well, let's try to poison you. They resisted. 
do they have full resistance? Well, they have cl pretty close to it. Um, we can heal and remove. Uh, but let's try to... More and more? Okay, I just went to a bunch of your videos and liked and subscribed. Amazing, Frank. Thank you for, for doing that. If you weren't already. Uh, so, so, we're still bleeding. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, do this. Now, some of these mini games are like scripted losses. Uh, that happened to me with one of the uh, ones with the Hellion, where I thought I had lost, but you just, I, I, it just it counted like that was a part of her story is that she lost the fight. Um, all right, uh, everything is on, on cooldown. Well, you're an invalid target because you're in the back now, so we can only acid rain. I mean, I'm not, he's not looking too great. Uh, we're gonna get toxic now, right? Toxic like uh, Britney Spears. Such sweet suffering, such bitter delight. He loves it. Uh, sepsis, heal 50%, target gets six blight. And they, uh, you, uh, he must have some um, blight penetration now because her blight resistance is down to zero with this so oh sepsis is a very good ability that we've been waiting to unlock a lot of uh we're, we're like oh sepsis is, is, is great it's awesome it just I, I hopefully we'll, hopefully this is us unlocking it uh we're not bleeding so let's not do this um let's go ahead and more, more we'll acid rain you try to get more some more blight on you yeah because your your blight is still zero now it's back up i think unless okay yeah we could do it again just poison the crap out of death death she's not going to be a happy camper uh, now let's get rid of uh, this bleed on us. I think if we just manage to stay alive, right? No, the light has now ran out. Uh, your your reputation is overstated. Uh, he's shit talking death. Um, we don't need to use sepsis now because we. We still have... Probably take one more hit before we need to do that. Um, we'll punish... We'll punish you. Get apply some more Blight. Alright, yeah, no. Now we will Sepsis again. Why can't we Sepsis? Uh-oh. Maybe we should have Sepsis when we had the chance. Maybe it's a positioning issue. Uh, this is not good. I mean, maybe we'll resist it. Ow! Oh, F. Acceptance requires honesty. All right, so we definitely should have used sepsis as soon as it was available to us because some for some reason, and I don't know why, we could not use it again. It disappeared off of our, our toolbar for some unknown reason, but at least when we uh, when we do the hero shrine up top up here, when we hit the next one. Uh, sh we should know what we're doing and be able to to run through it pretty quick. Hopefully. You must be strong enough to shoulder more than your share of the burden. All right. Um. We definitely want. I mean, we, we're full on wheels, so might as well do the scouting. I mean, we pretty much know where we're going already, but it's good to kind of have a better idea. You know, why not scout? I mean, it's 
better than taking wheels for no reason. But the extra uh, lantern light is uh, super helpful because that is our goal to keep our light above 40. So the more light we can get, the better. All right, we're not bleeding, so we're not going to start with bloodlust. Uh, we're going to... Um, it's Iron Swan? Yeah. Yeah, that did a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Uh, we will now flash those daggers. You had to put Miss Rachel on to calm Elizabeth down. I don't really know what Miss Rachel is. I don't think my nephews watch that. Uh, you in the... That's not a great... I mean, you can be in the front. So this is not too terrible. So, um, again, she can move up. So we will do that. You're stunned, which is annoying. All right, so let's go ahead and... Who's up next? You, so let's make sure, you, let's try to blind you, rather than plague you. And you were, you were blinded, so that, that is, is helpful. You managed to still hit despite not having the ability to see. Everyone is on fire, everyone is burning, it's all gone to hell. Uh, no one's stressed though, so that's that's positive. Uh, let's go ahead and punish you. Uh, we will flash daggers, no, or we'll try to like. What are you at? Uh, yeah. Hey, crit! I didn't expect a crit. I thought it was gonna help the poison work its little magic there. Uh, we'll plague you guys in the back now. Hey, take it. Um, thrown dagger. Oh, the sparkle ball made you blind. Right, you're being guarded, but like, you should pop anyway. But you're you're gonna repost, which is annoying. Uh, what do we want to do? Um. I mean, I don't. I guess. Oh, you have two blocks. Yeah, we can. We can. We could take a repose if we got two blocks up. You haven't gone in like forever. I mean, it was because you got stunned in the beginning of the fight. But holy moly! Uh, let's go ahead and. I mean, you're gonna dodge, maybe. Maybe you won't. Ah, uh, you did. You did. Uh, we can bloodlust, but I'd rather just try to get you dead. Amazing, fantastic. And everyone is looking pretty, pretty swell. Go ahead and finish them off, and that's how it's done. All right, I mean, we're getting some extra baubles, so I can't complain about that. Uh, but we'll take a quick break now. Um, so if you enjoyed the video, you watched it all the way in, so you must have. Go ahead and hit that like button, wherever, wherever it is uh, on, on the screen. Uh, sm hit it, smash it if you would, and leave a comment, subscribe to all the fun stuff. I mean, it's not your first day on YouTube, and if it is, get off YouTube. You shouldn't be here. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you in a bit. See you later. Back tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>